Hey guys and gals, this is Psionic Arrow, and this is a follow-up video to the uh, Minecraft Automated Systems video that I put up. Uh, this video is going to show people how I make my sorting machine. So, starting from the basics. We're going to need um, silicon bools for silicon wafers. Silicon bools are made from coal and sand in an alloy furnace. Here, let me put some coal in there. There we go, silicon bools. So, by taking a diamond handsaw to a silicon bool, we get silicon wafers. Next step. Oops. Next step is here. Silicon wafers with nickelate or redstone. Um, we're going to need both. So that would be four pieces of redstone per silicon wafer. This will give a red doped wafer. And same for nickelite, except it's blue. There. Blue and red. Whoops. Uh, next step, we're going to need some batteries. That's created from nickelite, copper, and tin. So this is all the uh, red power stuff. Okay, here's where the blue dot wafer comes in. Blue dot wafer with blue alloy ingot. Blue alloy ingots come in from here. Silver and... Oh, uh, nickelite. Put some in there. And we get some blue alloy ingots. Why? Oh, it's not running anymore. Okay. There you go. Blue alloy ingots. And then we make a whole bunch of solar panels out of that. So, oh, that wasn't good. Uh, let me get more of this. We're going to need uh, some solar panels for powering the redstone machines, mainly the sorting machine. Uh, none of that. We have a lot of that. Oh, this is going to take a while. Alright, well, I'm going to turn off the music and then be back in a couple of minutes when the blue dot wafers have done cooking. All right, that should be enough. We don't actually need that many uh, solar panels. Four. All right, that's good enough. Uh, next, we're going to be making a battery box. Uh, just one of those. Batteries, uh, wood plank, iron ingot, and blue alloy ingot. There we go. And now for the power cables. Blue alloy wire. We're going to need six wool and three blue alloy ingots. Uh, it produces quite a lot. So let's start setting up the uh, power. Uh, let's put one more. Uh, red power two solar panels, they connect each other kind of like wires, so there's no need for wires to go all around to the battery box. Uh, next step. <clears throat> Did I miss one? Nope. Next step, vanilla pistons. We're just going to need some of those for filters, and we're going to need, um, 
one filter for grabbing the, um, the items from the chest. And then we're going to need three more filters for these sorting machines. And this is where the red dope wafer comes in. They're required for the sorting machines. And uh, my system uses three of these. Next up, brass. To get brass, it's tin co and copper in an alloy furnace. So it's actually one tin per four copper, and they make four brass ingots. And then brass ingots come in here with the glass to make pneumatic tubes. Let's get a stack of that. <coughs> Next, pneumatic tubes with iron ingot. And that's going to require um, I think three, really. Alright, so, oh, gotta get a chest. Let's get this started. Let's put a chest here. We're gonna need this uh, filter. Uh, now, the direction you place it is important. So let's put it here, and I, it's actually facing me. This is the input. This is where it extracts stuff. The output over here is this little dot here. So we're just going to get a screwdriver and turn it. Um, the screwdriver for Red Power it just turns it in a certain manner all the time. So if it doesn't get to the right position, just keep on clicking. It'll get there. Right, so this thing here, this filter, doesn't require power to run. It just needs a redstone signal. Uh, that might be a little close, but that's fine. I'll just move the wires around. Next, the three sorting machines. Here, here, and there. We're going to have the output of the filter going directly into the sorting machines, like so. <coughs> okay, next, from the top, we're going to need one restriction tube here, and one here, then a regular tube, another restriction tube, and then back to regular tubes, like so. Actually, yeah, we don't need that one. Now, a filter uh, pulls whole stacks out at a time, but you can also tell it to pull certain things, like let's say you want one piece of iron all the time, but since it's a sorting machine, we want everything. These things will be doing the sorting. Now here, this has to be, the first uh, sorting machine has to be in this mode, and then... Uh, we're going to default white as uh, where we want to put items that aren't in the sorting machine. And then the rest is just uh, multi, multiple sort. I'm not sure what they call it, but it just does everything. Now you'll notice over here there is actually power required for the sorting machines. So we're going to grab some power from here. Now when these machines get power, they light up uh, pretty slightly, but there we go. They're lighting up one by one. There. Uh, so this is actually pretty much it. Um, you just put pneumatic tubes up here and then towards uh, these chests, or um, slightly more advanced to the... Uh, furnace or mace raider just to get the ores running properly. For uh, something a little bit more advanced, oh, you know what, I forgot about the uh, activation of the filter. Uh, let's go do that first. Filter activation. Um, not this. We're going to need, starting here, 
Uh, stone wafers. Stone wafers are created from cooking stone. R just regular stone. Alright. Then stone wafers with redstone give stone wire. Stone wafer and redstone torch gives stone cathodes. Three, no, uh, three stone wafers and four redstone give three stone anodes. And that's put together... No, not yet. Stone wafer, redstone torch, and a stone gives a stone pointer. Now everything comes together to create a timer. Uh, the timer we're going to use... I've actually created a bunch here. There we go. The timer is going to be used for the filter there. And I like to set my timer at half a second. There we go. Now it's pulling um, whatever objects are going to be in the chest and into the sorting machine system. However, there's nothing in the chest and sometimes you don't want this to keep on going. I've uh, turned off the sound for my Red Power 2 machines, but if you like the sounds on, you might not like the constant clicking that this thing's going to make. So what are you going to do? Here we go. Oops. <clears throat> you could put a, uh, a lever right here, or a redstone torch. Click it, turns off. Now it's a little bit inconvenient because um, every time you want to sort something, you just want to, you have to come back and click it on, and it might not be something you want to do. So here it is. This is what we do. We create some cobblestone transport pipes with uh, glass and cobblestone. Then we turn that with gravel into a cobblestone structure pipe. We only need one of those. Now here, this is where some of the more advanced stuff comes in. You're going to need a lot of uh, obsidian to make the assembly table and the uh, laser that powers it. So we're going to need some power, which requires... Uh, if you're using combustion engines, it requires water and fuel. So that might take a while. Uh, but. The assembly table does require quite a lot of energy to run. Alright, so first of all, you're going to need redstone, red rose, and iron ingot. And we're going to be making red pipe wires and redstone iron chipset. Uh, I've already made a couple of those, but let's make another one. It seems I've already got a little bit of power left inside the machine. So, let's turn it on, let it run for a little bit. The uh, blue laser signifies full power coming from the laser. Uh, looks like it's already finished one. It goes into an ad any adjacent chest. So, let's just keep on putting it in there. And we're going to stop making that, because what we really want is the iron ore gate. In order to get this you just need to make the red pipe wire and redstone iron chipset first. So we're gonna make one of those. There we go. And while that's cooking we're going to make uh, magnetic accelerator tubes for the uh, sorting machine so that it'll travel slightly faster over to this uh, little piece here or if your uh, item chests are further away than you would like. So diamond handsaw with blocks of iron makes iron slabs. Iron slab with diamond handsaw for iron panel. And then diamond handsaw with iron panel in this configuration makes uh, iron panel strips. However, if the handsaw is up here, it makes iron covers. So, you gotta watch out for that. Next, diamond blocks, diamond handsaw. 
for uh, diamond slab. Diamond slab to diamond panel. And then four iron panel strips with a diamond panel makes a diamond draw blade. This is required to make fine copper wire. So we got copper and diamond draw plate for fine copper wire. And here, six fine copper wires, piece of glass, and two obsidian for mag tubes. Let's grab, we probably don't need that many, but whatever. And next, to make it all work, you need blue alloy ingot and obsidian for the accelerator. We're going to need two of these, one to accelerate and one to decelerate. So coming over here, we're going to place one right there. The accelerator also needs power, so we're going to connect that. And when that is connected, it lights up. There you go. So we're going to be connecting, oops. The mag tubes here going up and across. Here, now the uh, accelerator over here, non powered, decelerates objects. Oh. I'm going to have to move it one back. There. Because I'm going to need a regular tube to feed into the top of this mace raider. So items coming in from the top falls in here, and then we have to extract out the sides. So any side from the mace raider. And that means we're going to need more uh, filters. Two more. All right, let's put a filter here. It's going to go here, up, and into the electric furnace. And then um, it's probably going to have to go back into one of these chests. So uh, let's put it there, whatever, you know. Uh, now you may have noticed that this panel over here, it's actually a cover, it's a hollow cover, a sandstone cover. And this is part of Redstone, uh, sorry, Red Power 2's uh, fancy uh, stuff here. I like it a lot because you can hide a lot of the uh, piping that we're going to be doing. Same goes for the chest. Uh, now, let's see, we're going to need two more timers. One for this guy and this guy. We can set it at one second. These machines don't operate at very fast speeds unless full of overclocker upgrades, which makes them use more power. So. I've only put five in just to speed it up a little bit. All right, back to the sorting machines. We're gonna need to put in a couple of colors uh, for the sorting process. Uh, you know, let's say we wanted uh, three lime green because we have a lot of items that want to go in lime green and it doesn't uh, fit you can't fit it all in one column and you need three that's why I have um, three sorting machines because sometimes you just run out of space and you need slightly more um, inventory space or sorting uh, space. Okay, 
since we're doing the advanced part, let's go over here. Um, let's see. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Iron ore gate. We only need one. Almost forgot about these. All right. Let's put it in. Uh, stone structure pipe goes here. It bends. And then we throw on an iron ore gate. So here we can set that if the inventory is empty, we can emit a redstone signal, which stops this timer from running. And it will start the timer running when there's an item in the chest. Uh, so we'll show that right after I uh, color these appropriately. All right, we got some paintbrushes. White goes there. Uh, orange, magenta, uh, light blue, yellow, lime, pink, gray, and light gray. So we're going to put in some more pneumatic tubes to connect everything. There. Uh, now, you can also use glass cover plates over here. I've got some, I think. Here we go. Oops. Well, that wasn't... Uh, let's get rid of that. And there we go. This should allow uh, anyone to see where all the items are going and if they were going appropriately. So one final thing here, filter, let's say we want to set our ores, or actually ingots, to go into the orange filter and we want uh, and we want our cyan to go in this direction here I believe I've missed a little thing here there we go so we're gonna have to set up let's say uh, the ores to go in here and uh, let's say we want obsidian there, dirt here, gravel there, and maybe cobblestone here. And basically you do one of each. You can have wood or stone in this one. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to have to get some items. Okay, so I may have missed putting in some sand. So let's put some sand in there. And then put everything into the chest for sorting. There we go. You can see it's sorting. And then shooting off through the mag tubes. And they'll be coming down here uh, into their respective spots, and hopefully this thing is running. No. What happened to my uh, iron? Something happened? Oh. Alright, so I got some iron and some gold. Here we go. Iron and gold. Here, gold goes in first and gets shot off, and so does iron. Oop. I'm almost too slow. Now you can see that there's not enough space for the iron to go in, so it just kind of slowly moves back uh, towards here until the space is done, uh, is cleared from the mace raider which is mace reading right now, and it's extracting the gold dust and putting into the electric furnace.
and out comes gold bars. Uh, so let's speed this up a little bit by taking out the gold ore and we can see there's the iron just shot back out and there it is and now we're producing iron uh, same goes for this part here if there's not a um, space in the electric furnace it just basically hops around from here to here until there's space and I think that's a lot better than the Billcraft pipes. Okay, so here we go. All the items are in the proper positions. Here you can see with these crystal uh, chests very clearly everything's in this right place. And uh, that's about hit. Here we go. I guess I could. Here. Let's end on a picture of the uh, sorting machine. Now, in single player, this will work in multiplayer. In single player, I like to use um, this method with the logistics pipes. Uh, however, logistics pipes isn't in multiplayer yet, so uh, logistics pipes also has a sorting mechanism. I just prefer this a lot better. For the uh, more advanced stuff over here, logistics pipes does work quite a lot better. You don't need uh, to f f worry about these filters and timers and stuff. Whenever there's space, logistics pipes just pull stuff in. All right. So um, maybe I'll do a logistics pipes video next time. So I hope you enjoyed this and any questions or comments and I'll try to answer them as best I can. If not, I'll try to do another video. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.